Hey guys, how you doing today? This is my beautiful baby bunny, Belly's plant. She is absolutely gorgeous. You guys might remember I did a video with her in it on uh, beautiful purple plants. Well, she is... I need to repot her today. She is growing way fast and I'm having a really hard time keeping her watered. So I'm going to be putting her into this bigger white pot. So I am going to scoot her back, get right into this. I got a lot of plants to, well, I don't have a whole lot left, but I have enough because once spring gets here, I'm going to be outside gardening in my flower beds and cleaning up the yard. And I don't want to have to worry about a bunch of house plants that need to be repotted. Even if I just have a few, that'll be great for me. She's got a few yellow leaves here that I see. I'm just kind of getting those out. Now I'm going to try. <laughs> I had her in a macrame hanger. And oh my god, that was a nightmare trying to get her out of that thing without breaking her all up. I did break a few off, but the great thing about this plant is it propagates so easy. And what I do if I, ac if I accidentally break it, I just make a little hole with my finger in the soil and stick it right back in. I'm taking my butter knife and I'm just kind of Oh boy, I, I can tell she definitely needs to get out of this pot and into the bigger one. So I'm just loosening her up. And this pot is kind of a pain because you can't squeeze it to help get it out. So you kind of got to, I'm not sure what I'm feeling, but it feels like feels like roots, but I don't know. We'll see when I pop her out of here. I'll tell you, this is one of the best gardening tools or plant tools you can have in your arsenal. Mine's just an old butter knife that I've been using for, I have it inside outside. Oh, I'm going to fill up my pot here with some soil before I get any further. That way I can just flop it right down into my pot. There we go. That should be about right. Now I'm just going to tip her, get a hold of that crown, just kind of pull. Yeah, I can see roots coming out of the bottom of the pot. She definitely needed to be re... Oh, sorry for that loud noise. I kind of like threw my old pot down willy-nilly. Well, let's see, hopefully I will not break her up anymore. I'm just going to lay her down here. I'm going to just pinch around, make a few holes with my finger, and I got too much soil. Geez, the way it's looking, she may not even be in this pot very long, but there, that's about right. Let's see, I think I got, I'm stuck. There we go. So now I'm just going to fill her in. I'm going to start at the front of the plant that's away from me and just kind of push. That way I don't have to keep messing around with the plant and breaking her. She breaks pretty easily if you're not careful. But like I said, if you do break it, I just make a hole with my finger, 
stick the cutting down in, make sure you got a leaf, which I got one over here, I'll show you, that I accidentally broke off when I was taking her off my macrame. Ugh. Just filling in the front here, making sure it's nice and solid, giving her a good press to get her into the new soil, make her feel stable. There, that looks pretty good. And then I will just um, she has a this pot has a plastic a white plastic hanger, so that will be much much better for her to hang in instead of a macrame. So, oh, I love my macrame hangers or my twine hangers, but man. Some plants just are too touchy to put in. I'll untangle her a little bit better once I get her actually hung up where I'm putting her. I see a couple more leaves that I want to get out. There. This is such a beautiful plant, and these are so common. I mean, you can get them, you can find them at any box, big box store, maybe your grocery store. And I'll tell you, they are a fast grower. Linda from Linda Sue Plants for You sent me this plant, and it was just, well, it was about the end of summer after it cooled down. And I think she was just in like a four inch or so pot. And this is how much she's grown. Oh, I don't want to forget about my little... This is the piece I broke off. So I'm going to come up here. There's a note. I'm just going to pinch it. And I'm going to make a hole. Stick her down in there. And then I'm going to give her some water. I'm not going to get crazy with the water because I just watered her a couple days ago. So she's just going to get... A little drink and I'm gonna put her hanger on her and she will be all ready to go back into her west window I have her growing in a west window she really likes bright light and I wait until she's about three quarters of the way or so um, dried down before I water her because I don't want her to I don't want her to crinkle up too much. There we go. She is all ready to go. See how far she hangs down. This plant is a very fast grower. I mean, you it like I said, I got her in the summertime from Linda, and she was in about I don't know a three or four inch pot. I don't know for sure. I don't remember. It was a small, like maybe four, five, six cuttings. I don't know. I don't remember. But this is how much she's grown for me through the fall and the winter. And winter didn't even slow her down. So this is a beautiful, beautiful plant. And it adds so much color with her green, you know, with her green backings. It adds so much color to our green house plant collection so super easy to take care of if you've got a bright window that you can grow her in I say get this plant it's super easy she's beautiful and she's super soft so that's about all oh other than um, I just I put worm castings in the soil like I do all my plants and she's good and the weight of the pot feels good for the water, so I'm not going to give her any more. I'm just going to clean off the bottom of this pot. Can you see, I'll straighten her up a little bit more when I get her hanging. She doesn't get tangled up real bad, but a little bit. There she is. All ready to go get hung up in a new pot hopefully for the whole summer <laughs> I might have to repot her again come sometime in the summer but we'll see how it goes
so she gorgeous with that with those colors all right guys i am going to let you go and i will talk to you later bye peace